What up everybody, it's iPadBeatMaking.com here today doing an unboxing of the Earthworks Icon USB microphone. We're going to unbox this together and we're going to find out if this is a good microphone choice for an iOS podcaster, musician, etc, etc. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, beats, updates, unboxing videos like this, and more. I probably should have got a razor blade for this, huh? A box cutter. And there it is, Earthworks Audio. This is the box. So there it is right there. We've got the Earthworks Audio with custom Triad Orbit desktop stand. Looking really forward to this. And on the side it says it's for streaming, home recording, remote working, podcasting, and gaming. We've got Sounds Like Life written here. Okay, I think we gotta cut it from at this point right here and then it'll release it. Let's see, there we go. There it is. And now I think we're gonna be clear to open this up. And here is the beautiful Earthworks Icon microphone. Wow, it's, it's heavy. That's the first impression. It's heavy, really heavy. Like really heavy for such a small microphone. And on the back here, we've got the mic gain knob and it's smooth, not butter smooth, but pretty smooth. And then it stops at this halfway point here. And then we can go all the way there. So I like that there's a, at least one stop in here. I'd like a few, but I'll take a halfway one and this button also appears to be pressable which is cool and this looks like a USB-C port but it's not it's actually a micro USB port which you know we'd like to be done with micro USB but let's look at the positive side of it the Sensor more fuses micro USB which we have the CME X key air also uses micro USB so you know we at least have cords that will work with multiple devices already anyways let's see what else we got in this box but this mic is really 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 heavy like much heavier than I expected and we've got a cord here it's a pretty nice looking cord it's micro USB an anchor brand love anchor brand good stuff and here is our stand so this box looks like it's a keeper things just open up really easily and the last thing in the box was a paper it says welcome since 1995 we have been trusted to sculpt the sounds of your favorite performances and concert halls Thank you for choosing Earthworks. So there we go. And now let's see what this thing looks like mounted on a stand. Now the stand is really, really, really light. It might be metal, but it's light like plastic, especially compared to this microphone. There it is. Set it up. And it, due to the way the stand is, this ball head, you can adjust it in whichever orientation is most comfortable for you. So yeah. And this is what the actual microphone looks like. Pretty thick windscreen. Hopefully it keeps all the pops and peas and things like that the plosives out of the mix everything feels really 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 well made really high quality 
It's dense like a stage mic. You know what it really reminds me of? It reminds me of like an SM57. That's the density that this mic feels like. You know what, I'm gonna go get the SM57 really quick just to compare it. All right, so now we've got the SM57 here and it's, it's similar. Earthworks is a little shorter, much fatter. But they're around around the same. The this Earthworks I would still say is heavier, but you know, this is kind of a dense little mic. So similar to that. Now, right now I'm actually recording these vocals on a Electro Voice RE20 in a pretty untreated room. And it's pretty much an open room. So it'll be really good to compare to how the Earthworks Icon mic handles that. Cause right now the Electro Voice RE20 is now rolling through an M4 by Motum. This microphone here is a $350 microphone. So we're talking about a $400 microphone going into a mid $200 interface, but a really good mid $200 interface, like probably the best mid $200 interface I've ever heard. It definitely keeps up with interfaces that cost much more than that. So something to definitely be mindful of when you're looking at the icon is we're going to be stuck in the world of USB. Now there is an icon pro that is 499, but for the needs of the traveling musician that's using iOS, I really wanted to try this one out specifically because I wanted to know, is this enough? Now, one thing I'm not liking already, and I'm a bit concerned about if I'm going to be honest is while there's a knob here, I would really like to see some kind of monitoring situation. This just says, mic gain and the reason why that's concerning for me is latency i want to be able to have a monitoring option where i can decide how much audio i have coming in into my ears so if i wanted to rap or sing over a beat you know you want to be able to hear the beat in real time and then hear yourself in real time and blend that to your liking and there's none of that here so very very concerning kind of like a red flag for me I guess for podcasting or spoken word or what I'm doing right now, it wouldn't really be a big deal. But for any kind of music making, it's definitely a big deal, possibly. So we'll have to see how this microphone performs and then go from there. So yeah, with that said, I'm about to hook this microphone up. And by the time you hear my voice again, it will be over the Earthworks Icon USB microphone. Okay, so now I'm about let's say three, four inches off the microphone. Now I'm about six inches away from the microphone. Now I'm about one inch off the microphone. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. This is about an inch or two off of the microphone. And it's handling the plosives okay. I would definitely want to back up away from the mic. I'd want to be more comfortable with this. But right now I'm hand holding the microphone. And what I would rather do is actually put it on a mic stand and make this fair. So I'm going to put it on a mic stand right now and let's see how it does. Check one, two, check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com here today doing a mic test of the Earthworks Icon USB microphone. Currently, we have no pop filter whatsoever, and I'm about, give or take, an inch and a half, two inches off of the microphone. It's angled at a 45 degree angle up right now, and we are not using the provided Earthworks Audio Orbit Stand. We are instead using the Rode PSA-1 mic boom arm which for my needs is much more convenient it keeps the desk clear and this is really a mic test right now just to see how well it handles the situations that i would typically throw at it now one thing that i'm noticing is the peas are coming through here and there or the wind or something right i'm hearing a wind or i'm hearing some of the peas cut through and i don't necessarily know how i would control that because I'm breathing in a way that I'm very comfortable breathing with other microphones that have pop filters on them. But for a microphone that has the pop filter built in, I'm definitely still hearing a little bit of wind. So maybe what I will do 
is put a pop filter of some sort in front of it because this microphone seems to really like to have a person right up on it like right now i'm right up on the microphone i'm probably about a uh, half inch off the microphone so i'm right here on it and it's kind of amazing that this is a condenser microphone because i'm not really hearing too much of the room which is always a great thing and now i'm gonna back up off the microphone and now i am about six inches off the microphone so that you can hear more room definitely being picked up by the microphone it's not too bad but definitely wants like a dynamic mic for you to be right up on the microphone definitely something to take into consideration and now i'm gradually moving closer to the microphone and i noticed that the wind comes back again but it is a much more satisfying sound but i'm definitely hearing wind inside of this microphone now the next thing that i am doing is i'm holding a pop filter in front of the microphone and i'm only about an inch and a half off the mic and i've got to say to me it sounds a lot better so i would definitely recommend you get a pop filter of some sort for the microphone i can be much more comfortable i'm not having to worry about how i breathe how i talk things like that the p's the breaths etc etc it's just working so definitely recommend some sort of pop filter for this if you have trouble with certain breaths and things like that getting into the microphone pickup. Now, I personally would never risk recording without having some kind of pop filter in place unless I just was without one at that moment in that place in time and I had to get the recording done. But for my needs to make sure that the take comes out right, because if I've got everything else perfect on the take and then I've got to deal with correcting or throwing the whole take away due to breathing sounds and things like that, that is not a good sign. So there you go. That is the sound of the microphone. I think it sounds pretty good. My first impression is it is a really good, clean sounding microphone. I think it's a great microphone for a beginner, but it doesn't sound cheap, if you know what I mean. It's just simple to use, really easy to set up. The latency seems to be pretty low. And while I'm here looking at this microphone, I'm going to try out the Neumann TLM-103, different type of condenser, different class of a microphone entirely. But while we're here, we might as well try that microphone out also. So I'm going to pull out the TLM 103 and we are going to see how that microphone sounds. Now I'm looking at the TLM 103 by Neumann and we are in the same room. You can hear much more elements in the background now. Three to four inches off the microphone. This is what it sounds like if I get right up on the microphone and this is what it sounds like if I'm about six inches off the microphone. And there we are again, about two inches off the microphone. So this is the TLM-103. And just for the sake of comparison, I will go ahead and say the opening line. What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com here today trying out the TLM-103 versus the Icon by Earthworks. The Icon is a USB microphone. The TLM-103 by Neumann is an XLR microphone. It's currently being ran into the Motu M4. So definitely something to keep in mind if you like this microphone. This mic is great for rapping, probably not so much podcasting, but I've definitely seen in the right environment, it can sound great for podcasting. Lots of people love the TLM-103. This microphone is much more expensive than the Earthworks. The Earthworks retails for about $349. The TLM-103, I don't know, the price on that thing keeps changing. It's probably around eleven dollars or $1,200 now. So two very different classes of mics indeed. But I figure for this evaluation, it would be good to try it out. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that this room is untreated. So in a treated room, obviously, the differences will probably come out even more. But for an untreated room, you definitely want a mic that's like a dynamic or something like the Earthworks Icon, where it's designed to be in an untreated room and not pick everything up. Nonetheless, I'm going to switch back to the Earthworks Audio mic right now. So as you can see, we've got this green light right here. And if we tap the button on the back of the microphone, We get a quick and easy little mute switch. And now we're back. So it's got a it's got a switch that allows you to mute the mic 
really quick and i don't know if it's true but it's seeming like we're limited to like 48 kilohertz 16-bit depth of audio which is really really low for a microphone that's this expensive i really hope that's not true and that i'm just having some software issues and that there's a workaround really 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 crazy for such an expensive microphone i'm just gonna say it like that off the bat if this is true then that's horrible news this might be fixable in like a software update or something like that, but I know most people who are doing like a podcast and streaming might not mind. But at this level, you really want a microphone that's able to do like 96 kilohertz and 24 or 32 bit audio recording. So nah, for $350, that's something that you would hope would be possible. Hopefully I'm wrong about this, but just something to keep in mind, something to look into, something to research. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and quick little review first impression video. I'll be using this mic on some other projects and I'll give you more feedback on how I like it then. I don't want to go too hard on judging whether I like it or dislike it because it's a really new mic and I really want to get used to it compared to some other recordings, do some other microphone comparisons. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, beats, reviews, updates, and unboxing videos like these and more and be sure to check out some of the best kits available for ios at ipadbeatmaking.com it's ipadbeatmaking.com peace